Hey, greetings, performance reviews here, where I give you the review from the technician's point of view. And today we're going to be looking at a Kenmore Intuition, which is one of the last, but not a dying breed, of budget bagged vacuums. Now my understanding is that this is not made by Kenmore of yesteryears. This is made by whoever owns Kenmore now, and uh, we're going to unbox it here and see what it holds, but I suspect, spoiler alert, I suspect this is a bagged shark, basically. We're gonna take a look, though, for sure. Now, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and uh, ring that bell and hit that subscribe button. I do content twice a week, usually, and you wouldn't want to miss my new content with Google bear bearing it in the algorithm. I got this from Target. It was on sale. Big thank you to our Patreon supporters who help make things like this possible. Um, who I suspect one of our Patreon supporters might even get this when we're done. Now, Target, as you can see in their great wisdom, decided to... I think I got it all. Yep, I got the tab done. Decided to do this. Let's see what we have here. Blank piece of paper. Oh, well, there's a quick start guide on the other side of this. That's kind of weird. All right, that's nice. They give you a quick start guide. And the manual with a 1-800 number on top. And uh, the manual's in multiple languages, of course. And the machine is upside down in the box. Uh, which is all right, because I wanted to see that part first anyways. Man, it sure looks like it's constructed like a shark. Let's go ahead and do what you're supposed to do with this one. And dump it all out like that. That's probably not the most graceful unboxing. Well, I certainly have made a mess of things here. Let's see what's here. Separate the packing material from the vacuum. There's the vacuum itself. There's tape. Right, tape on the brush roller on off switch. That's an interesting choice. We have a awkward slinky hose. Man, that handle is big and bulky. I wonder what that's gonna be like to vacuum with. And we have a, uh, this wand is, uh, there's like all sorts of plastic stuff clipped on this. This is very, very shark-like in all the bad ways so far. Well, now here's something I was trying to figure out is how many bags it came with. Looks like mine came with three bags. I know some of them come with like six or 12, but this one came with three bags in here and one bag installed. Well, that's what came in my box for all those who are wondering. My first thoughts on this is, uh, this does not feel confidence inspiring. The blow molded plastic particularly in some areas uh, I, I'm really surprised they didn't use uh, injection molding on some of this stuff. Let's go ahead and put the wand in. I've got my quick start guide. Uh, you know, in case the vacuum technician here gets lost. Um, I don't know that this is, like I said, particularly feels great as we assemble this. Uh, okay, so the lift away. Okay, so this is a non-powered lift away. That's an important feature, I guess, to know is once you lift this away, you can't use this. I know some of them are not that way. Yeah, all this is very awkward. And uh, again, it kind of gives me the heebie-jeebies of uh, that this is a shark. A really short hose. Uh, this hose is maybe five feet long. Uh, extremely short hose. And 1-800 number again, posted on here in case you get stuck. And that's, man, that hose is, uh, it's not swiveling. So this hose is going to get kinked real easily. Now we have a position here for two tools and we have four tools. So I guess you better pick your most used tools and stick them on there. Um, quick question. Yeah. That does not fit on there. That will fit on there. You need that big stair tool. But small tools, 
They don't exactly snap in or feel secure. I bet these will come loose when we're vacuuming. Let's take a look at the cord. And the cord is once again one of these awkward things that the cord hook is on the wand, so you must have the cord off when you use that. Well, the machine kind of looks slightly pregnant when you look at it. I wonder when its baby is due. Now there is a suction relief valve right here, uh, non-standard accessories. So let's see if I can figure out a way of testing working vacuum on this. <laughs> About 78 sealed, 75. About uh, it's about 42 inches of working vacuum. It's more than I thought it would be uh, on there. Again, about 79, 78 sealed. And of course, when I did that, it sets off the full bag trick indicator. machine has like this, I don't know what they put in the plastic of this machine, but it can't be good for you. It's got a horrible smell to it. This is gonna drive me nuts. Uh, I, I haven't even been plugged in and really vacuumed within this. Hose is everywhere. Just like a shark, uh, it's awkward. And like I said, as you vacuum, you're gonna have this hose bouncing around, even when it's on. Yeah, it doesn't really push on my carpet. Yeah, you have to have that on. Just want to show right out of the box uh, just how narrow this nozzle is. It's incredibly narrow. It's just incredibly narrow. It's like uh, even a little less narrow than this basic Mila attachment. So keep in mind if you have a large house, this is not going to be the vacuum for you. You know, I was trying to get some shots of a vacuuming and this tool fell off here already, even though it's really as securely on there as it's going to go. The machine looks like a pregnant beluga whale, uh, scaled down and mixed with a vacuum cleaner. I'm going to be interested to see what this is like vacuuming my soft carpet, which if I open the relief valve, I am able to do. Um, what this is going to be like using, the nozzle is extremely small. This is really not meant for a household like mine. It's overall feel, fit, and finish. Uh, really feels a step below some of the other machines I've tried in this price range. Uh, but it's on, on average, I would say. Uh, and again, it, it, it really does seem to have a lot of these shark attributes to the machine. The bag, uh, of course, is the whole reason we got this machine to evaluate because it's one of the few bagged machines uh, in this price range that's, you know, sub $600. So we're going to evaluate this and really put it through its paces like we always do here at Performance Reviews and see how it does uh, in my house. And I'll do a full review. I would encourage you to stay tuned for that. Now, if any of this is coming off negative, I just am not impressed with what I see here. You know, I'm not a paid shill. I bought this with my own money, and I'm glad I got it half off uh, looking at it. Uh, if I paid full price for this, I would be disappointed already. Definitely check out some of our other videos where I can show you some of the products that we generally like and encourage people to buy. Check out our hashtag Central Vacuum Propaganda. We have uh, performancereviews.com, and of course we are Patreon funded, so thank you to our Patreons. I'll put a link 
somewhere here for you to see. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.